Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Josh with Pro Tour Reviews. Today, we've got two brand new mowers from Ego. We've got a 42 inch lawn tractor and a 22 inch aluminum deck self-propelled mower. We're gonna run through the specs and all the details, tell you all about them. Let's get started. To get things started, we're gonna go ahead right here at the top. We've got the touch drive system. We've got these two thumb paddles right here. Now these can be used together or independently. I'll just press that and it's gonna take off. Get on back here. Now this speed control dial, this lets you go from anywhere from 0.9 miles per hour up to 3.1 miles an hour. You can see those detents in there. So it's, it's not gonna easily slide away even if you do bump it like that. Moving down to our blade speed control, we've got a little blister button here that lets you cycle between eco, normal, and boost. Uh, boost is gonna be your highest out power output. It's actually gonna be your peak, which is 11.1 foot-pounds of torque. That's huge. With 11.1 foot-pounds of torque, that not only makes it Ego's strongest self-propelled lawnmower, it makes it the strongest cordless self-propelled lawnmower we've tested to date. You can expect about 45 minutes of runtime in boost. In, in eco, you can get about 70 minutes, and in normal, we can expect about an hour, and that is with the kitted 10 amp hour battery. Over here on the other side, we have our headlight control button. In this also, we see the Bluetooth button here. Uh, this lets you connect with Ego's app, where you can get uh, some stats on your mower, some runtime information. Now, to actually get things started, what we wanna do is we wanna press down this power button, and then pull our presence bar, and that's gonna start up our blades. All right, let's take a quick look at the front end of this mower. Right up on top, we'll see the battery bay. Now this comes with a 10 amp hour battery. It is IPX4 rated. So if you get a little bit of weather, you're okay. Up here on the front, we've got our LED headlights. That's something we've seen before from Ego, but we always enjoy it. Now looking down here at the wheels, we've got a two point height adjustment. And this has eight settings that allow you to go from one inch all the way up to four inches. And since they're independent, you can have the front a little bit higher, maybe the back a little bit higher, depending on how you wanna cut or, def or, or, or to deal with your mowing conditions. Back here, we've got our handle height adjustment. Now this has two positions, or you can take it all the way to the front, and this allows you to stand the whole thing up. So under the hood, we have these dual blades. This is part of Ego's select cut system. Now these, this mower comes with a high lift blade, a mulching blade, as well as an eco blade. Now right now we've got the mulching blade on there. We've had pretty good success with it so far. Really enjoyed that. Ego's always been pretty good with their mulching. Now I did want to take a look at the underside with the deck design. This was something that we were a little bit concerned about. Now normally with Ego's poly decks, uh, sometimes with the rear discharge, with the mulching, you have a tendency to get a little bit clogged up at times, maybe when the grass is thicker or wet, but they did a really great job of creating good airflow underneath here. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but the actual discharge is huge. I mean, it's much larger than what we've seen on the poly decks. Because of this improved airflow under the deck here, it's really improved the rear side discharge. We'll show you that next. Looking at the back here, we're gonna see a lot of familiar components we've already seen on Ego's other mowers. We're gonna lift up this rear flap, and in here we're gonna see our mulching plug. And this also what I wanna show you is this larger discharge chute. This, is, this does not clog up nearly as easily as we've seen before. But the real star of the show we wanna talk about is this. This is Ego's newly designed rear side discharge chute. I kind of like to call it the bat wing, but it, what it does is it really creates a much better flow. Instead of like the tunnel type shape things we've seen before, uh, this creates much more of a natural flow for the grass clippings to go out and then to the side. We were actually able to put this to use on our neighbor's property, pretty overgrown stuff. But even with that and being a little bit damp, it didn't clog up once, and it really did a good job of dispersing the clippings out to the side so instead of in larger clumps. Well, as you can see, we've shifted over to the lawn tractor, and I'm in the driver's seat. We're right here, we got the steering wheel, and Ego put a really nice rubberized steering wheel. There's some kind of grooves in the back here so you can use it one-handed or two-handed. It's very comfortable, I like it a lot. We've got our forward and reverse uh, control right there. We have our key. This should be pretty familiar if you've, if you've seen our videos on the Z6. We put our little key in there. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and start it up. 
We got our power button, we hold that down until the screen activates. Now you may not be able to see it very well, we are out in the sun, it's a little overcast, but right here we've got our blade speed control and our drive speed control, our headlight button, as well as our settings button. And this will allow us to dial in a few different things about the mower. We've got a cruise control setting over here that you can use while you're mowing or just cruising around if you don't want to keep your foot on the pedal. And then right here we've got our reverse override. This will basically allow us to go in reverse without the blade shutting off uh, while we're mowing. And on the other side, you may not be able to see it, but we do have our blade uh, activation lever right here on this side. And one last thing, we've got our charging port over here on the side. This allows you to plug up to Ego's charger, and this will charge all six batteries simultaneously, so you don't have to pull them out individually. Let's check that out right now. Looking under the hood, we've got six six amp hour batteries. These batteries all charge at the same time whenever you plug into the wall charger. Let's close that up. We've got our LED headlights. We've also got a little storage compartment here on top, just in case you want to keep a few things in there, maybe a drink or two, whatever you need. Here on the front, Ego includes a steel bumper. Uh, this is really nice if you're kind of moving things around, if you don't want to damage this plastic. We've all had the broken uh, hood cowlings before. Not too much fun, but this will help protect that on the front end. Right here on the side, you've got your deck height adjustment lever. This allows you to go from one and a half inches all the way up to four and a half inches. It's got 12 different settings in there so you can match it to whatever grass species you have. Down here at the deck, this is a 42 inch stamped steel deck. It's still pretty sturdy though. And on the back here, we've got 20 inch tires and on the front, we've got 15 inch tires. Now these are turf tires, so they won't tear up your lawn if you do have something like maybe uh, zoysia or Bermuda grass. This will be really nice on there, it won't tear anything up. And these wide turf tires are really helpful, especially when towing. Let's take a look at the back. Looking on the back here, Ego included this nice hitch. Now you can tow up to 600 pounds with that. That'd be great for use with like a yard trailer picking up debris. It's also compatible with their bagger attachment. If you don't like to have clippings in the yard, you wanna pick those up, you can go ahead and do that. Now that is sold separately. Now looking at the back here with the seat, we've got these nice springs. These are pretty stiff. So the seat tension isn't adjustable. You can adjust forwards and backwards to fit your height. Uh, but I'm in the neighborhood of 200 pounds and I did a little bit of riding on this thing and I found it to be pretty comfortable. Now before we get out of here, I wanna show off a few of the, the unsung heroes of this mower. Right here we've got two cup holders. This one will fit a can. This one's a little bit deeper. It'll fit like a tumbler. Uh, they've also got a pouch down here where you can put a phone. And if you look right here, a little guy, we've got a USB type A port so you can actually charge your phone while you're mowing. Make sure your music keeps going. Now guys, let's wrap it up. So let's talk about price. For the self-propelled mower, we're running $899 as a bare tool or $1,199 as a kit that includes a 10 amp hour battery. For the lawn tractor with six, six amp hour batteries, we're running right around $4,000. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. What do you think about these mowers? Would you pick either of them up? Let us know about it. And as always, thanks for watching.